Okay, well, welcome back for part three. Um, you notice I did a little, put a, a block in a little bit more detail since the last time. What I've done so far is uh, I fixed the face, so you know, I gave try to stay true to the photo here, and uh, I put a jaw in and and uh, I started doing the hair. So uh, we're going to continue on right now with more of the shading. I'm going to roughen all the all the uh, all the basic but basic uh, shadows first, and then I'll go ahead and uh, dive into the rest of it here. But before I do, I just um, I forgot to mention that this is uh, the user who I'm actually drawing this from. Uh, her username is Josh, that's J-O-S-S, I'm probably not pronouncing it right, J-O-S-S-L-O-N-E-R. Uh, she, uh, she's the one that, that, um, that uh, emailed me, approached me for this, uh, for this uh, video. Um, and I was gonna say, go check out her stuff. She's a, she's a singer, apparently, um, and uh, she has a bunch of videos on YouTube, and she's quite good, so, um, you know, make sure you drop by and, uh, and check out her stuff. Um, I was enjoy listening to some of her songs while I was on there. So, so what I'm doing right now is I'm getting, uh, I'm putting in some more of the details of the uh, of the hair. And again, just like the last video, you want to just slowly build the tones up. Don't don't just jump in there and and just try and uh, try and map it all out because most of the time it won't it lo won't look very good because of that. And you notice I'm actually drawing the individual strands of the hair. I'm actually not going there just darkening the spot because this spot actually is quite dark in in the photo. Um, but rather than doing that, you know, uh, I I chose to just go this route just because you'll uh, whatever whatever little detail you leave behind is going to show through on the final drawing. It's going to look like hair as opposed to just a dark blob. So make sure um, you know you, you guys keep that in mind if you're if you are into trying getting better hair. Now, again, I'm not great at hair, but you know this is just a few things I picked up over the years. So underneath her chin actually is pretty dark here because actually hair just uh, comes through here. So draw her neck in really quick. It's about right here. Now there's a nice dark shadow from here to here. So actually it's a hard line shadow and then it fades out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw the shadow here really quick. And then it fades out going this way. Darker around the neck. So um, just go and block that in as well. It's darker underneath their chin. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend it together a little bit so it doesn't look like it gives her chin such a hard line, hard edge here. All right, so blocking more of the details here. This is actually a hard line right here, so that's what I am doing. I'm, I am just coming coming in and blocking a nice hard line here. And then I'll just slowly fade it out to a, a lighter tone once it gets out to the face uh, area here. And don't forget, if you guys have any time, uh, you can always drop by uh, Flickr.com or ConceptArt.org and check out my other uh, drawings as well. Concept Art will have Concept Art will have a lot of uh, a lot of my my uh, anatomy studies, um, which and I do have to warn you, it does have nudity. So if you are offended by that stuff. Then don't go. Um, and then concert, or Flickr will have a lot of my portrait studies. Um, so uh, basically, stuff like this, just the headshot, and that's it. Uh, where you know, so no, no, may, may, most of the time there's no bodies uh, included in most of my uh, most of my drawings there. Oh, when I'm doing the ears, by the way, uh, one good one good way of doing the ears is that just draw the dark parts first. Uh, I used to hate drawing ears. In fact, I probably still hate it now. So what I do is I draw all the dark parts first. So this is where the ear recesses into the canal and everything. And, and then there's like a little ridge here. Obviously, most, most ears will have it. And then what I do is I'll, I'll just go and I'll just shade the entire thing in. Like so. So I'll make it look like there's an ear back there somehow. And hair kind of goes over the ear a little bit, so I'm just going to draw that in. And actually, this hair is clumped up around in the back, and then this part comes down. So I'm just draw a few more strands in here. There we go. And I'm sorry, I, I'm not exactly a, a very quick artist, so that's why uh, I can't I can't do this entire video in one take. Because then again, this because of YouTube's requirements. Um, or limits, I would have to do this in like 50 parts, and I'm sure you're not into watching 50 parts just to, just to go see a drawing. So um, again, I'll be jumping around. So as soon as this video ends, I'll be I'll, I'll do a little bit more and I'll jump back to it and uh, onto the fourth part and show you what I've done. Um, this is 
I don't know how much I don't know how educational this video could be, but you know if you get something out of it, very very nice. If not, then uh, you know just watch it for entertainment purposes only. Um, so I'm coming in and bringing some more tones up in here. And also how it's taken a nice shape now uh, in terms of tones. Um, it's getting a getting a nice dark. Uh, tone with the nice light over here and remember the light source is from this side from from the photo ref um, <clears throat> but it's not completely bright because there are a bunch of hot spots easily i can leave it like this and you know hey everybody think hey it looks it looks kind of nice but uh, i'm into more photorealistic drawing so i am going to come in and add a, add a few more tones in here just to kind of flesh out flesh out a lot of the a lot of the details um, for example this is actually kind of darkened right here very light tones and then like this and then so the only bright hot spot is this little spot right here so i'm just going to darken this in just a tiny bit and remember every little detail uh, uh counts and it comes out in your final final product so make sure you get as much detail and um, uh, as you can because uh it all helps out trust me uh let's see and then what happens is that this 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 being the nose bridge is going to be slightly taller because it kind of uh, slopes down here so so this will be a slightly darker, and then right here, it's actually not so bright, so I'll just dark it in just a tiny bit. I'm not pressing very hard, just very light. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna bring in her eye, eye, uh, eyebrow just a tiny bit more so you can see that there's an eyebrow there. Uh, and then of course, once I'm finished with it, you'll obviously be able to see the, the high uh, resolution version, or at least a better uh, photo of it on, on uh, Flickr and uh, concept art. Um, for now, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to have to bear with me on the on the crappy video uh, quality. I don't really have a great video camera, so so then come to here. So this is slightly shadowed in right there, and then underneath the nose slightly. So I'm just gonna blend this out just like that. And you notice how when I did that, I kind of uh, flushed out the nose just a tiny bit when I did that. Um, that's the whole idea. Um, to get all to, to use your tones to, to get as much detail out of it as possible like that and I'm gonna just go ahead and block in the nose a little bit more here because it is quite dark on that side and then uh, the middle of the nose actually has a little bit more tone this is actually a darker tone here I'm gonna sharpen my pencil really quick my eight minutes is almost up again so uh, I'm just gonna hop ahead uh, uh, to the body actually on, on the next video. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get most of the details of the face done And then I'll, I'll go ahead and jump ahead here. So I apologize um, But I'm gonna go ahead and throw some light tones on the forehead here. It's not completely uh, Not completely dark now. There's a dark spot here So I'm just gonna block that in and then from that point on I can just go across the entire forehead like this and just block more of this in and it's actually kind of darker up here as well, so I'll just go ahead and put uh, some cross hatching up here. So I'm going the opposite direction this time around uh, with my with my line. So that means it'll just block in more of the more of the or it'll darken in more of the shadow and tones right there. Um, and then from her brow here, there's a light, slight dark tone here that goes across, so on and so forth. And then from here blocking the rest of the stuff. So now you notice how, as I'm blocking it in, it, it looks more and more realistic. You know, I'm, I'm sure it's not completely photorealistic, but the more tones and the more uh, gradients of, of, uh, of darkness and shade you put in there, it actually brings out the drawing overall uh, and, and gives it that much more you know, oomph to it. So I'm gonna go and end the video here, nine minutes coming up. So uh, on the fourth part, we'll start on the body. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.